than we thought there'd be more goals. But it proved there weren't. Babangida and Ikpeba probably came the closest. Eto hit the post as well for Cameroon. And now it's down to five penalty kicks. By the way, Sean Bartlett confirmed as the top scorer in the tournament with five goals. And Boma and Eto with four each behind him. That's all irrelevant now. And someone's going to make a hero of themselves. And someone is going to have a pretty bad old evening as well. He's going back in history. And legendary Nations Cup final. And the penalty shootout went to 11-10. And Ghana won it. I don't think we could cope with that. No, I don't know what the delay is, but... Hopefully we'll be getting going soon. That's our lists over to the referee and it looks like we're ready to start. And first up, it is Nigeria and that's really well tucked away. And JJ Okocha. Brilliantly done. Yeah, excellent penalty uh, by JJ Okocha getting uh, the proceedings underway. Alium went the right way, of course. With the accuracy and the power behind that sufficient to take it into the net. So now it's Ike Shirunmu's turn. Looks like Patrick and Boma. Excellent penalty again. Shirunmu going the right way. But right in the corner. Yeah, mission accomplished there for Patrick and Boma. And again. Goalkeeper's chosen the right side. So the tension increases and increases. 1-1 one, one on penalties. So now what can Allium do? Well, that's driven in with some power. Two one to Nigeria. Yeah, not a well hit penalty. Little bit of delay before the next Cameroon penalty here. It's all going to plan so far. And the goalkeeper's come close to saving as yet. And now we get the psychology here from Sharon Mook. And it's Pierre Wome to take the Cameroon. The referee, Murad Dami, is telling Shurumu to get back on his line. And all these mind games always go on during penalty shootouts. And Wome must block all of that out. And it looks like he's going to blast it here. So it's Wome against Shurunmu. Oh, excellently tucked away by Wome. Yeah, Wome was excellent in the game and that was an excellent penalty to uh, add to his performance. But in fact, I think you'd have to say it was the best penalty so far. Side-footed but drilled. The uh, quality of penalties so far has been excellent. Lots of pressure on these players. And he showed all his experience there, Pierre Wome. It's going to be Kanu now. Loping forward. Oh, and Allium's joining it with the psychology now, telling him to put the ball on the spot. Should be interesting. Kanu always does things with a touch of style. And what styles are going to choose? Yeah. You can't really imagine him blasting it 
He might well try and roll it somewhere. We'll see. Kano against Alium. And Alium saved it. First blood to Cameroon in the penalty shootout. Kanu so often the hero for Nigeria, the African footballer of the year, misses. Yeah, he's fairly distraught about it as well. Threw himself to the ground. As soon as Allium put his hands firmly to that ball. Seemed to be quite a dramatic movement, I must say, from Allium. Jumped forward off the line as Kanu stepped forward. Of course, the goalkeepers can move along the line but not come off it. Kanu might say that uh, Alium definitely moved well before he uh, struck the ball. So a chance for Cameroon to take advantage of Kanu's miss. Can Sharunmu get Nigeria back into it? This is Jeremy. And driven in by Jeremy. 3-2 to Cameroon. Well, no holding back there from Jeremy. He wasn't trying to be clever. Just wanted to make a good contact. And he certainly did that. And so, the next penalty. is really really important and Aliyum waits again now did it go over the line I rather think it did but what's the referee said well let's have another look at this it definitely went over the line Definitely. Yeah, that's in. Well, yeah, that is definitely in. What's the line's been done here? Well, there's a bit of controversy here. Well, it's been given on the screen. So Mark Vivian Foe. And for Cameroon. Oh, and he's missed. Would you believe he's missed the target? Absolutely criminal. Not even to make the goalkeeper work from a penalty. And so two English Premiership stars have missed. Kanu and Foe. That is very precise and choosing what he was going to do with the uh, penalty not like Jeremy before him who thrashed it into the net tried to pick his corner tried to borrow too much well I have to say there's still some confusion about whether the penalty crossed the line or not well now it's 3-0 There again, see Alium coming off his line, throwing himself forward, which of course narrows the angle for himself. There certainly does seem to be some confusion as to how the actual scoreline stands at the moment. We certainly felt that that was over the line. Penalty that came off the underside of the crossbar. Well, if that penalty wasn't awarded, and apparently it hasn't been, then this is for the African Nations Cup. And it's the captain, Rigobert Song of Liverpool, has the chance to put Cameroon in dreamland here. Song against Sharunmu, and he's done it! And Cameroon have won the African Nations Cup, albeit in controversial circumstances. Rigobert Song 
He's had a splendid tournament, has led his side all the way. And that was a captain's penalty. Yeah, nothing wrong with that penalty whatsoever. Rigobert Song playing the captain's part in the end. But I would have to say that uh, Nigeria must be wondering about that penalty. The fourth penalty it was for them. Certainly seemed to cross the line as far as I was concerned. That's not been given. It's a shame it has to end like this. And no one, as they always say, deserved to lose. But Cameroon it is who win it on penalties. And Rigobert Song will shortly step forward to pick up the African Nations Cup. Cameroon have played in three finals against Nigeria and now they have won them all. It's Cameroon's third victory in the tournament. Well, I don't argue too much with that, but Laurent Meyer gets the vote. Now have another look at the penalties. There's a save from Aliou. And that, for me, went over the line. The linesman got it wrong, but it doesn't matter now. And that's the decisive penalty from Rigobert Song. What a memory to take.